Hey Tubers, it's Pop Boys live from the internets. First off, I just wanted to address a couple of messages just asking why I haven't been uploading. Basically, due to the usual fuckery on YouTube, I've just decided that it's really not worth the time or the effort or the negative comments, <laughs> etc, etc, that I am uh, experiencing from YouTube. This is just a hobby of mine and, uh, I like pointing out things that people don't seem to be aware of. And just over the past year, my channel is almost a year old. I've been sabotaged probably about five times. My numbers have climbed and then suddenly just been dwindled. And uh, each time I build it up, somehow I need the sabotage through the subscriber removal or the view removal or the recommended view removal or, you know, the algorithm, whatever it is. But again, this video wasn't actually about the YouTube rant. I just wanted to answer because I've gotten that message from a couple of people. Why, you know, why aren't you uploading? regularly. Uh, so there you go. Today's episode is about this headline I'm just reading here. Planet X NASA's Trappist-1 star system is really Nibiru and now the Messiah is coming. The newly discovered star system conspiracy theorists are claiming it's the fabled planet Nibiru, which also heralds the coming of the Messiah, a Jewish scholar has claimed. Most of you know NASA announced it had found a new seven-planet star system called Trappist-1. Interesting name, Trappist-1. Too much fanfare at the end of last month. Three of the new alien worlds are believed to be capable of supporting extraterrestrial life, so NASA claims. The story was actually revealed over a year ago by conspiracy theorists and, you know, news which supports them, including the Daily Star Online which NASA didn't confirm until this year. Jewish mystics appear to have beaten us by predicting the discovery almost 2,000 years earlier, and now an Israeli filmmaker has claimed that Trappist-1 is really the giant hidden planet Nibiru, or Planet X, which is prophesied to destroy Earth. UK space boffins at Liverpool John Moores University working with US space agency NASA announced they had located seven planets in February around the dwarf star Trappist-1, 39 light years from Earth, so they claim. But in an astounding coincidence, author David Mead said a star called Nibiru with seven planets around it was approaching Earth a month earlier. Now the movie producer and Nibiru expert Yuval Ovedia has said Nibiru and Trappist-1 are one and the same, and their discovery was prophesied in the Bible thousands of years ago. Worryingly, he has identified Old Testament verses and ancient Jewish scriptures that appear to say seven heavenly bodies will be seen before the Messiah walks the earth. Mr. Ovedia points to the Zohar, a series of books that inspired the Jewish mystical movement Kabbalah, which is popular with celebrities such as Madonna. The scripture, believed to be written up to 2,000 years ago, apparently says after 40 days when the pillar rises from earth to heaven in the eyes of the world, uh, or the whole world, and the Messiah has appeared, a star will rise up on the east blazing in all colors, and seven other stars will surround that star. He also says the book Numbers, which is in the Old Testament of the Bible and the Jewish Torah, also says a star will herald the coming of the Messiah. Numbers chapter 24, 17 says, There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. Of course, the star Bethlehem is supposed to have appeared before Jesus' birth. Speaking exclusively, Mr. Ovidia said, we religious Jews go first by holy books, and only after that we consider other books such as science books. Therefore, if the Zohar says this star surrounded by seven other stars or planets will show up in the sky and the whole world will see it, and right then is when the Messiah will be revealed by Galilee, that is what I believe is going to happen. We are in amazing times. 
the end of this corrupted material world and the beginning of a new enlightenment world of the Messiah is coming very soon. Conspiracy theorists have been predicting Nibiru, a mysterious world supposedly populated by an alien race known as the Anunnaki, would return since the 1970s. The man who first wrote about it in the modern age, Zachariah Sitchin, claimed to have based his research on ancient texts by two Middle Eastern cultures, the Babylonians and the Samarians. His followers were ridiculed as cranks until scientists at the California Institute of Technology found evidence that suggested the prophecy might actually be true. Astronomers announced they had found evidence of a long-fabled ninth planet up to 15 times the size of Earth in the dark outer reaches of the solar system in January last year. They named the icy giant, which takes 20,000 Earth years to orbit the Sun, Planet 9. And another unbelievable coincidence, Daniel Whitmire of the University of Louisiana claims Planet 9 has wiped out all of life on Earth before. Conspiracy theorists have been warning for years that a giant hidden planet called Nibiru will wipe out life on Earth. Then respected astronomers announced they have discovered a giant hidden planet that could wipe out life on Earth. Earth. Conspiracy theorists say the planet Nibiru is actually part of a star system made up of seven planets. Then NASA announces it has found a new seven planet star system. Interestingly, David Mead, the doomsdayer who said Nibiru was really seven planets, said it would hit or pass near Earth this year in October of 2017. And, in yet another startling coincidence, Mike Brown, the Caltech professor who discovered the real Planet Nine, said it would be seen in the sky by winter of 2017. Coincidence? Mr. Ovadia thinks not. Like many conspiracy theorists, he believes Planet Nine, Trappist One, Planet X, and Nibiru are all the same thing, and NASA is slowly being forced to admit it. He told a news reporter from Daily Star Online, NASA in particular, and the American government in general, has been trying hard to hide the existence of the Planet X or Nibiru constellation for many years now. In my lectures for the past year, I have said that the closer we get to the revelation of this constellation in the sky, the more information will be revealed by NASA regarding it, although they would never admit it openly. He continued, saying, They cannot ignore the many photos, videos, and other evidence people have taken of it with the naked eye in the last few years. Therefore, in January, NASA said that most likely they had found Planet 9. Now, they just said that they found a solar system constellation very far from us. These are all referring to the same thing we are expecting and talking about. Planet X, Nibiru, or whatever you want to call it. They just reveal a little information while hiding much more from the public. Mr. Ovedia predicted NASA and the science community will reveal more and more details as time goes on. He said what NASA just discovered must be our Nibiru constellation. Otherwise, why would they all of a sudden talk about finding another solar system out there in space? So what? Everybody knows we have millions of solar systems out there. The mounting evidence is the only reason they have started to reveal, slowly but surely, more information about it. And they will keep doing so the closer we get to the deadline. Although they will never say explicitly that it is coming towards us and that it has any effect on us. This thing they will never say, even when the whole world can see it clearly out here in the sky. NASA will still say, it's very far from us, do not worry about it, just take some pictures of it and keep living your life. NASA was contacted for comment on the story, but either didn't respond or refused to comment. So it's just interesting, not sure whether this conspiracy is accurate or not, but it would certainly explain the actions taken by virtually all world governments uh, over the past few years, as well as their, I guess, lack of consent, lack of any morals. There, there doesn't seem to be any concern or, or responsibility being taken by any world government 
with respect to the responsibilities of running this planet. It seems to have switched to guarding a very small number of people and keeping their secrets hidden from the world. However, one could speculate that this has been what's been going on the whole time, and that government was virtually created to protect a small number of privileged people ruling the planet. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this conspiracy theory. Please comment and share, like if you like. Oh, and don't forget to hit the bell, because I know that my videos are not being placed in the recommended views, so if you could hit the notification bell, I would appreciate it. Follow us on Twitter, keep the chat going, and again, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.